Welcome to a moment of faith. It's so good to be with you again today. Isn't it amazing how that we can take one bit of information, news, whether positive or negative, and how it affects us? Last night I heard a piece of news about what was taking place in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount, Ornan's threshing floor, where now is the Dome of the Rock. It was told to me in this article that uh, they, the Arabs was leaving and that the Jews was moving back and taking the original intent and saying their prayers. They believe that you must bathe and they've had, they have had a lot of rain and the water uh, was there, the natural water from rain water was held there. They was able to bathe and go in to the temple and say their prayers with, with no controversy uh, from uh, the opposing side. And man, I was excited. I was overjoyed about that. And then this morning I thought, you know, I've got a friend of mine who lives there who is a guide. I ought to check with him and make sure this is correct and get his opinion. So my wife emailed him just a little bit. He responded back, Brother Randy, I'm sorry, but everything is shut down. Uh, he is the number one guide with Maranatha Tours, lives there as a military man. And he said, uh, there's a lot of things that's coming out right now and this like that is fake news. My heart sunk. I was happy. And then I went, oh no. Here's the thing. I have a guide who has never, ever told me anything that was not true. He is faithful, and His Word tells me, and John, you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. In Psalms 91 and verse 4, He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So I rejoice today, not in something news that I'm going to hear that's going on in the world, but I rejoice in the unsettled, unshaken truth of the Word of God. And in these days when we are isolated, quarantined at home, I'm still going to challenge you today. I'm going to give you some more homework. And this is what I want you to do in this homework. I want you to look at a time where God spoke peace. I want you to look at a time where God spoke and gave provision, and where God gave protection. Those three, according to His Word. It can be an illustration, it can be a story of someone in the Bible, or it can be a verse where God promised peace, provision, and protection. God is going to help us. He is because the truth says so. And I can stand with a smile on my face, with victory in my soul, because I know the truth. Do that homework. The best is yet to come.